Hey, thanks you so much, Kelly. Well, I've hung up my farmer hat, at least until next year when the Ag Expo comes to town. And instead, this morning, I'm here in downtown Albany. We're going to be making up some sandwiches, both for later on in lunchtime and, of course, breakfast sandwiches. I'm live here at Subway. They've got a big grand reopening coming up. We'll tell you about it coming up next. First, Kelly, thanks. I'm live here in downtown Albany at the downtown Subway. And guys, it smells like Subway bread down here, but i got to say, this is probably the nicest Subway I think I have ever been to in my entire life. I'm here with Casey Sherman. She's the manager here, and this place is beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. We try very hard to make sure it stays yes. that way. I mean, guys, just off camera up here, they have a fireplace. I mean, a fireplace in a subway. I didn't think I could ever see it, but right here in downtown Albany, who knew? Right. We try to make it somewhere where it's comfortable to come and eat your lunch and enjoy your hour off from work. There you go. And, you know, be I need some good sandwiches, that's right? right? That's right. <laughs> now, you all had a big remodeling about four years ago. You almost doubled the size of this restaurant. Tell me about that. Right. Um, th that was exactly it. We started out as only half a restaurant with only maybe four to five tables. Um, and now we had to rearrange to make sure we could s to sit everybody that comes in through lunch on a daily basis. Um, Very some, Sometimes we're still a little short, but we, we try to make sure we get people in and out, so Wonderful. enjoy your lunch. Well, guys, I mean, it's Friday. You might as well take a little bit longer on that lunch hour, but you all are having a big grand reopening. Tell me about that. Um, it's actually going to be October 25th. Mm -hmm. Our subs are going to be buy one, get one free, foot long, wow. six inches, with the purchase of a large drink, um, and we're expecting a big turnout. We want all our customers that were here before the change to come back and try us again, give us another chance. Um, but we got the staff to make it happen, and we, we try to get you in and out through lunch so you can get right back to work. Absolutely. I, some of that staff is already here this morning. I mean, it is 5 o'clock in the morning, guys, and they are up here making sandwiches for us. We're going to be doing that live here on Good Day This Morning. But buy one, get one free with a large drink. I mean, if you're getting two sandwiches, you're definitely going to need that large drink. How would you come up with that idea? Um, it's just a way to help customers out. We have a lot of deals we actually do on a daily basis. We have a four ninety nine meal deal that we run every day. Wow. And you got a list of sandwiches to choose from. Your side and your drink all for four ninety nine every day. That's a bargain. Right, right, right. We also do three foot longs for thirteen ninety nine after three o'clock. Wow. And all day on Saturday. Is that just you guys here at this location? Yes, that's just our subway. How exciting. So how long have you been down here in downtown Albany? Um, me personally, I've been here for five years. Great. Um, the store has been here longer, but um, we've been under new ownership for about five months now. Okay. Um, so we're hoping to pick business back up and get things back to the way they were. Absolutely. All right. Well, we got to make some sandwiches live here on Good Day this morning. I'll be here most of the morning here on Good Day. We'll be back right after this. Welcome back to Good Day, everyone. I'm here live at downtown Albany Subway. And well, you can't have sandwiches without bread. They make it all fresh right here every single day at the downtown Subway. I'm here with Tyler Aldridge. He is sandwich maker extraordinaire. And Tyler, we got a couple different types of bread here. So, so what do we got to do to make this bread turn into that delicious Subway bread that we can smell every time we walk in here? Well, it's really simple, actually, to take the... It just starts off as white and wheat at first. Okay. Is this wheat bread? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Got the wheat bread right here. I'm going to make half and half so I can show you how to do all of it. Do you just spray it? Mm -hmm. Is that water or yeah. secret recipe? You just or? spray it with water. And then you just stretch it out. And okay. you dip it in the herbs. Roll it. There you go. So simple. Yes, ma'am. You make you... it look so much fancier when you have it on the, uh, on yeah. the sandwiches. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. when, it, when it proofs... It uh, it gets a lot bigger. And what does that mean? When it is that when it rises? Mm -hmm. Okay. It, so we have a kind of like an oven. Okay. That just, just makes score it, it a little bit. Yeah, just score it a little bit there. Yummies. And then this the regular wheat bread. You just stretch it out a little bit. Make it the foot long. And that's all you got to do. Mm -hmm. That's all you got to do. So simple. Yep. He makes it look easy. That's what <laughs> yeah. it really is. That's what it really is. All right. So what do we do with um? The white bread. I know the you have a bunch bread. of different flavors of bread as yes, well. Five we types? The, yes, ma'am. We have honey oat, the regular nine grain wheat. Mm -hmm. We have Italian urban cheese, uh, Monterey that one's cheddar. That my favorite, the Italian yeah, urban cheese. that is my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> and we have the, also the Monterey cheddar and flatbread. Oh, wow. And they've got soups, they've got salads, pizzas, 
But of course, y'all are known for your sandwiches. Yes, ma'am. So what different types of bread can we make here on the uh, the white bread? On the white bread, we make the Italian urban cheese, the Monterey cheddar, and the regular Italian. Okay. Now, the Italian urban cheese, it gets rolled in its own little herbs there, too. So this is the Italian urban cheese or yes, just the Italian herb? This is the Italian urban cheese. Did I just make another type of bread that you guys don't really have? No. Okay. It's, <laughs> it, it's pretty much the same thing. But when it once it proofs and rises a little bit, we'll put a little cheese on top That's of it. That's when it comes mm -hmm. in. Yes, okay. ma'am. So they keep it all fresh here at Subway. I love it. Yes, ma'am. And then the Monterey cheddar is just, we just do it like we do the Italian, but. Different type a, of cheese? Yeah. Well, it's the same cheese as the Italian urban cheese. It just doesn't get rolled in the herbs. Okay. Yes, ma'am. And then is that just the regular Italian bread? Mm-hmm. There you go. That one doesn't get water on it. Nope. Ah, sneaky, sneaky. All right, well, we got to stick these in the oven. We're going to be making some sandwiches coming up here later on on Good Day. Kelly, back to you. Well, thank you so much, Chris. I am spending my birthday here at the downtown Subway. We're making up some sandwiches this morning. They open at 7, so be sure to come on down. And on your way to work, grab a breakfast sandwich. I'm here with Miranda O'Flynn. She is another sandwich maker extraordinaire here at the downtown Subway. And it looks like we've got a ton of toppings. When people come and buy a breakfast sandwich, can they get all of these toppings on their sandwich? They sure can. Goodness, yummy, yummy, yummy. But, of course, instead of... Uh, roast beef or buffalo turkey or anything. I think we're going to put some eggs on our sandwich in the morning. Mm -hmm. We're going to do the white egg. Okay. So is that an egg white patty? Yes, ma'am. All oh, right. We're going to cut it in half because we got the English muffin. Yummy. And we're going to do turkey. So you still have different types of lunch meat that you'll put on? Oh, yeah. And we'll turn them into breakfast meat in the morning, mm -hmm. huh? <laughs> All righty. So what kind of sandwich will this be? What, uh, it's going to be a turkey. Turkey and egg English muffin. Yummy, yummy. And now you guys have English muffins. We just learned how to make some bread. Do you guys have bagels, anything like that? We in the have morning? croissants, um, the flatbread, the regular sub bread, mm -hmm. the English muffin. Or you can get a pizza in the morning or you can still get a salad. Hey, that's my kind of breakfast, pizza in the morning. Mm -hmm. And you can get breakfast sandwiches on all of those. Mm -hmm. All righty. Is this sandwich done? Um, now we're going to add some oh, shredded cheese to it. Yummy, yummy. Now, I know whenever I come into Subway, people always ask if I want it toasted. Oh, yeah. Do you have to cook up these eggs? Do you toast them automatically? Yeah, or? the breakfast sandwiches usually are toasted because of the egg. Okay. But um, if they don't want it toasted, I mean, we can warm up the egg in the microwave, but we prefer okay. toast. Sounds good. I like to have a nice little warm breakfast in the morning. Mm -hmm. Now, going back to these sandwiches and everything, uh, of course, breakfast sandwiches. Can I come in and can I get one of those buffalo chicken sandwiches? Can I get more of a lunch sandwich yeah. at breakfast time? Mm -hmm. All right. Yummy. Yum. Now, when you got the toaster, I'm going to have you come on back over here while it's cooking up. Uh, how long does the, do these taste, take to cook? Um, about 45 minutes, seconds at the most. Wow. So you're in and out and back on your way to work. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, people might like it to take a little bit longer, but talk to me about all these toppings we got here. I mean, I see... The pizza, mm -hmm. very encouraging about that. We got some bacon, we've got buffalo chicken, but then they're just the toppings. Are they all fresh? Do you cook them up and slice them up here sure every do. day in the shop? Yes, ma'am. And uh, you can actually get some of the toppings like prior to the toaster. Okay. Some people like it like that, or you know, we're gonna wait till it comes out. To, there you um, go. Put it on. All right. Well, we're grilling our sandwich out of the oven right now. We gotta put some toppings on it, but that's all coming up next later on in Good Day. Kelly, back to you. Okay. I'm part of your family. When I was younger, my mom was just like, you're doing it because I'm telling you to do it. No milkshakes involved. But now if all of you come down here to Subway and say that you saw us on Good Day, then they're going to give you a free cookie. And Kelly, if you've ever had their Subway cookies, they are amazing. But we are live here at Downtown Subway. They've got a big grand reopening coming up next Thursday. Now, it's new ownership. The management is all the same. And coming up next on Good Day, we're going to be making one of their newest sandwiches. We'll have a look right after this. Be part of your family. When I was younger, my mom was just like, you're doing it because I'm telling you to do it. No milkshakes involved. But now if all of you come down here to Subway and say that you saw us on Good Day, then they're going to give you a free cookie. And Kelly, if you've ever had their Subway cookies, they are amazing. But we are live here at Downtown Subway. They've got a big grand reopening coming up next Thursday. Now it's new ownership. The management is all the same. And coming up next on Good Day, we're going to be making one of their newest sandwiches. We'll have a look right after this.
Mine's mic check two. Okay. Mic two, mic check two. Oh. Mic two, mic check two. Does she want to come up here? You got it. Mic check two. All right. And Miranda, can I get you to say your name again and then it starts saying the alphabet? Miranda, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. Welcome back to Good Day, everyone. I'm live here at the downtown subway here in downtown Albany. They've got their big grand reopening. It's under new ownership. The management is all the same, and a lot of the workers are still the same. Miranda here is a sandwich maker, maker extraordinaire, and you've got a pretty new sandwich here that we're going to be making this morning. Yes, ma'am. It's the Tuscan chicken melt. There you go. So it's called a melt, so I'm assuming we got to stick it in the toaster yes, again. Yes, ma'am. All right, but what makes this di sandwich different than, say, another uh Chicken sandwich. So we're gonna while well, we stick this in the oven. It's got um, the herbs and spices on the chicken. Okay, and this is a new type of chicken. Mm -hmm. You didn't have this one before. Um, they it's like a limited time thing. They've had it probably about a year and a half ago. Oh wow, mm -hmm. it's pretty popular. Now when I come to Subway, I get the same thing every single time: ham and turkey smothered in the Southwest Chipotle sauce. Mm -hmm. I could drink it. It's so good. What is your favorite sandwich here? I like the steak and cheese. Steak and cheese. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Now, all the folks come out for their gra your grand reopening. You've got a very special bargain going on. Uh huh? What can people get? Um, they can get, uh, they buy one six inch uh, sub and they get one free. Wow. Any sandwich. Mm -hmm. And that's October 25th. That's next Thursday. When you put on the toppings, of course, you have all sorts of options. Yep. Is there, like, the works? Do you have, like, a signature one you recommend? Um, I prefer the onions and bell peppers for sure. Okay. And spinach. Okay, all three. How about, what, what do most people get on the sandwich? Um, usually the works, which is the um, lettuce, tomato, onions, bell pepper, okay. pickles, and olives. Yummy. Well, let's go ahead and put that on this sandwich here. Right. Now, when I worked at a sandwich shop in high school, mm -hmm. there was a very specific order that you had to put everything on. Mm -hmm. They said that all the flavors kind of blended together in a certain way. Do you guys do that here? Um, we, we're supposed to, but it's whatever <laughs> the customer actually asked for. There you go. So customer is always right. I love that. And now, when I come here, again, if I don't get the ham and turkey sandwich, I love the um, sweet onion tur chicken sandwich. Yeah. But that sweet onion sauce is so, so good, but you have to be able to eat it here. I think the bread just gets a little too soggy. Mm -hmm. Do you guys have any advice for me if I want to take it home, but I don't want that bread to get soggy? Yeah, we'll put it on um, the veggies and the sauce. We put the veggies in a little um, salad dish, and we've got little cups with lids that we can put the sauce in for you. Wow. And you can take it home and put it on there. I love it. Now, if I come in and I do order, say, a full foot long sub, or if I get the the six inch and I get another six inch. Can you do it for me then too, so I can maybe save one for oh, eat yeah. one for lunch and have one for dinner? Mm -hmm. You can. Uh, we can make up half of it here, and then uh, the other half, if you want to take it home, you know, we can do the veggies on right. the side for that one too. Too sweet, too sweet. Well, come on down, get some sandwiches, whether it be breakfast sandwiches for breakfast this morning, or definitely come down next Thursday. And if you mention you saw them here on Good Day, they're going to give you a free cookie. We're going to finish up this sandwich, and I'm going to take a little bite. We'll be live back out here a few more times this morning. Back to you in the studio. All right. Thanks so much, Chris. I'm live here in downtown Albany at the downtown subway, which I think is the nicest subway I've ever been to. Yes, 
That's a fireplace behind me. Don't know if you really need the fireplace in South Georgia, but it's definitely a very nice atmosphere. They've got a big grand reopening coming up. We're going to tell you all about it after this. Casey Sherman, she is the manager here at Subway. And Casey, you all have been open for a little while now, a couple years, but you have a big grand reopening coming up next Thursday. Tell me all about it. It's on the 25th, and we're offering buy one, get one subs. Buy a foot long, get a foot long free. Six inch, get a six inch free with the purchase of a large drink. Um, and it'll be going from 7 in the morning until 6 o'clock at night. Ah. So all day long. Love it, love it. Now, people can come down right now and get a sandwich. You all are open for breakfast. Of course, we've made a few of those breakfast sandwiches live here on Good Day. But what is the purpose of the grand reopening? Um, we just want to let everybody know that we are here. Let, let everybody know that the management's the same. So we're running things the same. We're still all about speed and customer service to get people out as quick as possible. Um a little change of ownership, though. Right. That's kind of the reason for it. Right. But you all you are still be here. Right. We're all same people still here. <laughs> I love it. When you mentioned customer service, earlier I mentioned um, to Miranda that you all have so many different types of sandwiches, so many great sauces, great vegetables. And she said that if you want to take a sandwich home, you guys will actually put all the sauces, all the vegetables in a separate container so you don't have to worry about the sandwich getting soggy. Right, because we offer a buy one, get one until 9 in the morning. So a lot of people get their breakfast and then take their lunch with them in the morning to take to work with them. So we put everything on the side so that it's ready for them when they go to work. I love that. So then you have to have a, a soggy sandwich come right, noon. Right, right. That is so great. Well, a couple of other promotions that you got to have people uh, saving some money. Right. We have four ninety nine meal of the days where you can get, I think it's a list of 10 different six inches to wow. choose from. Your side and your drink for four ninety nine. We have. And that's not like one option. You mentioned 10? Yeah, there's like 10 different subs to choose from. Um, we also do the three foot longs for thirteen ninety nine anytime after three PM and all day Saturday. Um, if you mentioned you've seen us on the show, we're doing a free cookie. And if you've never had Subway cookies, they are awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yummy. But those last few uh, promotions that you mentioned, the, the buy one get one, um, uh, kinda here at the store, those are all only here. No other subways do those. Right. Those are local or just just for our subway, just for our customers. So how long have you been working here? I've been here for five years. Great. Five years. That is a lot of sandwiches to made over those five years. A lot of years. sandwiches, but we, we've made friends with a lot of people here. So I've enjoyed it all. Absolutely. Well, I have definitely enjoyed my time here. We're going to be talking sandwiches and pizza and wraps and salads and soups all coming up later here on Good Day. Kelly, over to you. All right, thanks, guys. I'm live here at the downtown subway. They've got their big grand reopening coming up next Thursday. But this place is already pretty packed. These guys are working very hard this morning. Randa, what kind of sandwiches are you making right now? Um, Sunrise Subway Melts. Okay, so we're going to let you go ahead and get to work. But these are on croissants, not the bread that we were making up earlier. Mm -mm. This is the croissant, the breakfast bread, one of the breakfast breads. What other types of breakfast breads do you have? Uh, we have the, um, the English muffin and uh, the croissants. We also have just regular sub bread and... That's it. <laughs> there you go. But people can come in and they can get breakfast sandwiches right now, but they can also get regular sandwiches still too, correct? Yes, ma'am. They sure can. When does breakfast stop getting served? Um, it stops at 11. Right. And, um, but, I mean, any time during the breakfast hours, like you said, you, they can still get a regular sub. There you go. No, she's very busy. We're going to let her finish making up those sandwiches. But, again, any type of toppings people want, they can get on these sandwiches? Yeah, anything you want, we can put on it. We'll make it happen. All right. You're, you're toasting these. So do you get them toasted? You can get them not toasted? Yeah, well, typically we toast them because of the egg that's on them. We want to make sure everything's heated all the way through. But if you don't want it toasted, we'll do whatever way you want it done. Well, you can definitely tell these folks are busy this morning. But I want to talk again real quickly about your grand reopening. It's coming up next Thursday. Next Thursday, 25th. Buy one, get one free from 7 in the morning till 6 in the evening. And we are also open for the ASU Parade Saturday or tomorrow. Great. Um, so, yeah, come down and see us. All right, and if you say you, if you come down today, or I guess any day, and say you saw these clips here live on Good Day this morning, you're going to get a free cookie. Right, free cookie. Just let us know you've seen us. All right, and real quickly, last time, you've got tons of promotions that go on all the time, not just for this grand reopening. Right, we're at 4.99 meals all day. I think it's ten, you know, ten different sandwiches to choose from. We've got 13.99 for three subs after three. Um, we do buy one, get one on the breakfast menu till 9. Um, 
We've got a lot of stuff going on all the time. You're making me hungry. All right, we got to get these sandwiches in the toaster so this lady can get on her way. But I've been live here at the downtown subway. Come on down. Big grand reopening next Thursday. But don't forget, say that you were at the sauce live here on Good Day and get a free cookie. Back to you in the studio. and Deborah Doherty and we're talking about the Artesian City Car Club. Now if you guys want to see some amazing cars, you're going to want to head over to the Albany Mall. It's tomorrow and um, it's kind of going to be going on all day. So uh, we want to know what exactly is going to be happening. Well, starting in 1970, the Artesian City Car Club was founded by George Gill and since 1973 we've actually held our car show at the Albany Mall here in Albany, Georgia. We have about a hundred vehicles from outside of this area that will be coming to participate in our annual show. And the goal of the show is to bring people out so they can see the antique and modern vehicles and how the vehicles have progressed over a period of time. That is so neat. And now, do you guys kind of line them up um, within by the year, or is it just kind of scattered? Right now, we allow each of the members that show up for the car club show to uh, align in different positions. Primarily around the fountain area there at the mall, we will have our actual Artesian City cars staged. So uh, you have some awards that you're going to be giving out. Can you tell us kind of what those awards will be for and what they are? There are 34 classes of cars that we'll be judging. We'll be giving away a first and second place judging trophy for each of those cars. We have a 50-50 raffle, which will the proceeds will be going to our charities at the end of the year. And we have goodie bags, which will be given out to the first 100 participants entering our show. So when you're judging these cars, what are some things that you're looking for? We're looking for originality, style, the chassis, the colors you know, how the interior is kept. Uh, one of the, the biggest challenges we have is deciding which of these perfect vehicles receive the first and second place trophies. I bet, because there seem, I mean, this is not even, they brought pretty much the whole car show. <laughs> there are cars lined up down the way. But um, this one behind us right here, this is probably one of my favorite colors for, uh, I want to call it antique or vintage cars, but can you tell us a little about the car behind us here? Yeah, the car behind us is a turquoise and white Chevy 57 Bel Air. Uh, it was purchased by my family about two years ago, and we've been in the process of restoring it, and this will be our second car show that we've entered it in here in Albany. Fantastic. Now, what went into restoring this car? You know, a lot of engine work. I have a great mechanic that, that helped me out. His name is Benji Harris. You know, he's, we spent a lot of time redoing the engine, uh, interior work, electrical work to, to get it running and so we can participate in shows, not only in this area, but in Southwest Georgia. And you said it was you and your family that kind of put this car together. So what's it like being able to, to do that as sort of a bond between you and your family? Well, you know, one of the greatest things about being part of the car club is the, the family atmosphere, which is brought together. My wife has actually been in car clubs all of her life since she was 11 years old. We also have a 1931 Ford Coupe that we weren't able to bring out today. But it's a family thing, you know, the kids come out there, they learn about the vehicles, and they grow up with the vehicles. I have a four-year-old right now that often rides in the, the back seat of the rumble seat in the, <laughs> the Model A. And I think it is just so much fun and such a great education too to kind of bring this history back to life. And we're going to be out here looking at some more of these lovely cars when we come back, back inside to you guys. Lan Scala and Deborah Doherty. And uh, this car behind me right here is Mr. Lan's car. And he's going to tell us a little bit about it. Well, it's a 1970 Plymouth Superbird. Uh, it's had some custom features on it. There were 1,926 of these made. And this is number 1,176 in the Chrysler Register. Wow. Uh, 426 Hemi 4 speed. It's got the RT hood on it. And this is the car that, uh, that Richard Petty ran in NASCAR. He ran the same type of car. Okay. 
Okay. So you, there's a lot of different unique cars here, and you said yours, not being biased or anything, but probably is the most unique car that's there. It's one of the one of the most unique. This car was only made one year. Uh, uh, Bill France with NASCAR outlawed the wing cars with the Hemi engines the first year because they ran so fast that it was just a big issue and they were looking at safety and, and keeping everybody fair and the cars were getting exotic for the street because to race it at NASCAR you had to sell the same car in the showroom. How fast have you gone in this car? We Legally. Don't talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to get to hear what it sounds like. Oh. But what you do get at our car shows, you get a lot of unique cars. Uh, behind us is a uh, Shelby Coverjet Mustang. There are very few of those. Uh, the Stud red Studebaker Hawk, uh, extremely rare. The uh, next Studebaker down, uh, that car was owned by this gentleman in uh, high school. It's a 1954. And you'll see cars out there that are one of ones, one of 45, one of 500, cars that you just won't see every day. Wow, I mean, so it sounds like a really fun event. And we're going to get to hear what this car sounds like in just a little bit. But I wanted to ask Deborah, you were talking about some of the, the wonderful reasons why people love going to these shows. Well, I think one of the best reasons about these shows is it gives us a chance to educate the younger generations about the industry and how cars have evolved over the years. But it also, for the older generations, it brings back memories for them. It's they, they look at a 1931 Model A, and, and it brings back memories of their first date with their husband that, that died 20 years ago. And it, it's, it gives you a really warm feeling to know that just by having a car, you can affect somebody like that. And being a woman kind of going to these car shows and everything, do you think that it's something that a female could enjoy? You obviously do. Oh, I, I think it's great. There's no reason why women cannot be involved with the cars. And it's a family affair for us. Our, our children go with us. I went with my parents as a child, and, and we now have that car. My children are third generation with the Model A that we have. And it, it's a wonderful bond to have. We, we have a lot of women that have their own cars that come out. Uh, two years ago, we had a woman that won with her car in her class. Good for her. Yeah, the ladies, the ladies enjoy it. Yeah. You'll see a lot of people dressed for the period. All right. Um, you'll see one of one special customs that are custom from the ground up. You know, built from scratch just to come to car shows and ride and cruise. All right. Well, we're gonna hear what this sounds like. Go ahead, crank it. And you can catch them all tomorrow at the Albany Mall. Make sure to stop by. It's around from 9 till 3, pretty much all day. Go by there and see all these unique cars, and we're going to go back inside.